Hi, I'm Kathy Lazarick. I'm here to talk to you today about something very important, realtor safety. We are the only people crazy enough in our profession to literally sit in a vacant home and then put a sign out front to let people know the door's open. Um, and please know that when you do open house, the door doesn't necessarily have to be open. It can be locked and you can take a look and see who's at the front door before allowing them in. Matter of fact, I recommend this on occupied properties. Um, there are several things that you can do, especially if you're doing an open house alone, which I don't recommend. If you can find a partner and it doesn't have to be another realtor, it can be a spouse as long as they're not talking about the home at all, they're just there for eye candy, so to speak. Um, it can be your lender. It can be a title rep. Again, as long as they're not practicing real estate by giving out information on the home, um, you're fine with having somebody there who's not another realtor. In the open house, there are several things you can do. If you get stuck and you're doing an open house alone, and please, men, this goes for you as well as ladies, because Everyone who sits in this day and age in an open house has that potential to have just that one person come in that's looking for drug money. And it, it's not just limited to the ladies. So you all need to be aware of your surroundings and what's happening. First thing I'm gonna tell you is that if you, if it feels wrong, it's wrong. Do not ignore the little hairs in the back of your neck sticking up. That is the one thing that people always say is that I didn't feel right, I didn't feel right, but yet they, they don't do anything about it. So number one, if you don't feel right or you feel uncomfortable, remove yourself from the situation. There's nothing in the house that's not so important that you can't step outside and be on your phone and call someone. You should have a friend or family member, even if that is the police on the phone, if you feel very uncomfortable somebody who is close by. These should be set up in advance. Same as when you go on showings. You should have somebody should know where you're going, what your expected time to leave is, what your expected time back is. Um, on that also, you wanna be sure that you get ID from people when you're showing for the first time. If you're not meeting them at the office, there's nothing wrong with having them snap a photo of their driver's license and sending it to them. If you have a photo, if you have a photo being sent to you from a driver's license and they show up, they don't look anything alike, you might want to consider twice about putting yourself in a hazardous situation. Don't ever enter a house um, in front of somebody where they can turn and lock you in. Okay. Um, in an open house situation, if you back to back, <laughs> if you are alone, you can do something as simple as have a chair where you drape a sports jacket over it. It looks like someone else is there. Have a half drunk cup of coffee, a Starbucks sitting there. Um, have tools that looks like somebody was writing. Have two chairs sit out. Clearly one is for you. And if you have to say your partner just went around the corner to show a house, we'll be back shortly. If you're feeling uncomfortable, do so. Um, open house, don't ever walk into a room first. If somebody's telling you to come look at something, don't go down to the basement first. Matter of fact, there's no reason for you to really go into a basement. If there's nothing there, just let somebody go. Don't go into a closet. People will try to lure you in. Be aware of those things that happen when somebody comes in and says, oh, look at this on the floor. You know, stay away from those situations. There's nothing you have to look at right now. You should always have an exit plan. Um, and that exit plan, you should know what doors are open, what doors are locked. Make sure your side gates are unlocked. Some people have uh, padlocks on these. It's not going to do you any good if your exit is through the back door and then the gate is locked. Ladies, please know that just simply kicking a man in his private parts is just not going to work anymore. Um, trust me when I tell you they're very quick to cover those up. Um, if you get in a situation where somebody's gotten too close, try to disrupt their breathing or possibly a knee. I highly recommend taking a self-defense class that is, geared, that is geared towards literally women or self-defense for men where you're actually striking somebody. You have to know what it feels like. Um, not to set you into a panic, there's also simple apps that you can use. Um, safety apps, all you need to go is go on your cell phone, look for personal safety apps. If you don't know which one to get, 
there are plenty of Facebook pages out there that you can ask other people on your team or in your office which apps that they use. And they're all highly, a lot of them alert not just the police, but also personal friends and sometimes are a little bit closer than the police. Um, don't want to make you paranoid, but I want to make you careful. So please pay attention to your surroundings and trust your gut. Good luck. Make it a great day.